Morning Church, my name is Lola um, and I am a life group leader and prayer team leader at Central Manchester. I'm also a audacious college student and I want to encourage you today um, about a miracle that God did in my life last year and that is the miracle of rest. Um, and for me, um, for many years, um, rest had been something difficult to obtain. Um, I had always wanted rest, um, but it was always out of my control and out of grasp. Um, my time was consumed by working as a doctor and specialising to become a consultant in emergency medicine and intensive care medicine. And following um, close to two decades um, of hard work, long hours in the, in the hospital, followed by long hours at home revising for exams continuously month after month and year after year and then also um the uh, addition of covid um for two years um following this period um i was left in a place feeling empty um feeling like i had nothing more to give and just in time, um, God came with a provision of rest. Um, and I was able to um, forge uh, a natural career break. Um, and I had some um, months off work and I had rest. Um, I went, um, I spent, um, you know, a large part of that, um, of the summer um, on various beaches um, around the world. And it may not sound like a very spiritual thing, um, but it was. And it was even within that time that God spoke to me uh, about doing Audacious College. And when I um, think about the creation story and the miracle that God did in creating everything, it is a seven day account. And for six days, God created. Um, and then on the seventh day, he rested. Um, and I just want to read um, quickly Genesis 2, verse 2 to 3. Um, and it says, by the seventh day, um, God had finished the work he had been doing. And so on the seventh day, he rested from all his work. Then God blessed the seventh day and made it holy because on it, he rested from all the work of creating that he had done. Um and I want to encourage you this morning that God is a God that wants us to be healed, to be delivered, to be provided for. And without a doubt, God has given us work to do. Um, but in addition to that, God has given us the gift of rest. We should take time to pause, to look back on everything that has happened to rest and be refreshed and to find our passion again. We should have, we should make time and seek time to take stock and to hear from God again. I want to encourage anyone right now who um, is feeling stressed, is feeling pressured, is feeling tired, is feeling like giving up, um, that God knows you personally. He knows um, what you need, and when you need it, um, and that he is the God of rest. So continue to seek him as the God of rest. Um, I also love um, in Mark chapter 2, when Jesus informs the Pharisees um, that the Sabbath um, was, was made for man. Man was not made for the Sabbath, but Sabbath was made for man and that he himself is Lord over the Sabbath. So I just want to encourage again anyone, I want to pray, uh, encourage anyone that needs rest, um, that he is the God of rest. He is Lord of the Sabbath. Um, and I'm just going to pray for you this morning, church. Um, so yes, God, I just, uh, we thank you this morning. Um, thank you that you are Lord of the, of the Sabbath. Thank you for the gift of rest. And Father, I pray this morning for anyone who is tired um, and weary, that they would find rest in you this morning and that you would be the giver of rest. Whatever that looks like for them, whatever their circumstances are, that they would 
receive refreshing from you. They would receive strengthening from you and they would receive a time, Father God, um, just to set aside, um, just to spend with you, um, to rest um, and, um, and be blessed. Um, in Jesus' name, amen.